We've looked at ways that we can edit an existing path, but what if we want to create a brand new path with a pencil tool? Well, you'll notice here that if I've got my selection tool active, I have clicked on this line here, which will pick up the properties. It's set to uh, about 0.4 points in terms of its stroke weight. And I've got a light grain here. I am just going to pick up my pencil tool again, hold down the space bar and pan somewhere else. I'm going to hover my cursor just here. As long as I'm away from the selected path, it will create something new that's not linked to it. I'll click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and then drag along here like so. I can even do some sort of up and down jagged uh, appearances to create some, what looks like some tufts of grass. I let go of the mouse, it creates my line. So you don't have to deselect, you can work somewhere else, click and hold down the mouse, drag along, move up and down to create some tufts of grass and then drag and let go. Again, you have the same options. If you wish to change your tuft of grass, then you can always hover over, click and drag, change your tuft of graph to have a different appearance, but return back to the path and you can edit it in there. If you wish to create something that is a closed path with a pencil tool, then hold down the space bar, I'll drag to the side, click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down, drag around like this to create some kind of sort of bolder appearance. And if you drag back to the beginning, that ring next to the cursor means you're going to create a closed object so that now potentially could have a fill and we could add other properties to it. If I switch to the eyedropper tool just here, I can hover over an object lower down, left click, it'll pick up its properties. I can go back to the pencil tool and I can again hover over and click and drag and I can reshape this. I could actually add some tufts of grass from the bottom and drag back to make it look like it's sunk into the soil like so. When I'm done, go to my selection tool and click away. I'll go back to the view menu and choose fit artboard in window. And that's the pencil tool, a very different workflow to the pen tool for more organic hand drawn lines.